The helicopter is not only the key player for making sure the camera crews are able to get access to the race route and remote communities, it is also the emergency response during daylight hours should a 911 emergency call be activated by one of the race teams. Such was the case for Wayne King of Team 69 who ran into some water and some slob trouble on his way to Postville. In typical Kane's sportsmanlike fashion, Team 5 stopped and helped build a fire until the chopper arrived. Team 69 partner Tom Collingwood tells the story with obvious disappointment. Pinned her. Pinned it just to try to make it. As soon as he got through, she started to pitch and he pinned it to try to save it. He almost saved it. He was saving it, saving it. And this off camber just slid. And when he slid, you can see where he did the back dive right into the water. So I was just like, wow. Here, he's in the sleds are here, he is in the water. But he was able to get out. Uh, basically, getting off the, the mainland to the coast is really hard here. The forest is very thick and dense, and it just gets worse and worse. So, like, pond to pond to pond. It's just trying to pick a trail and cut it through fine, sugary snow. It's so hard. And when you've been running since, say, 8 o'clock at night to, you know, whatever time it is now. Um, you're tired, you're thirsty, you're hungry, and you're not thinking straight. And every time you come down one of these trails, it's, it's a gamble. And you have to assess the risk. Uh, you have to get out and walk it first. You do whatever you can. And it came to this point. It was just, how are we going to do it? There's three ways to get up onto this. Which one are we going to go? Of course, we're so tired. We just really want to get to a checkpoint, so it you start to cloud your judgment with checkpoint as opposed to okay we're still not out of the woods yet and not knowing what's ahead of you because you've never done the route you don't know how much worse it's going to get before it gets better. Um, the first thing that came to my mind was uh, oh no no you know like I can't you know I can't believe that's happening and then once I knew he was okay. You know, I was like, that's it, all the hard work a year before the event, and then all the hard work from every day we've run and try to run clean as we can and try to keep a, a good placement is just over like that. So that's uh, that's all part of the event, you know, it's you gotta take it day by day, you know, like anything can happen. And I mean, he was running with bent A arms, bent steering controls beacon shocks i mean it was just one thing after another but every day there's always something you wake up in the morning before you run what's it going to be today Making up almost six hours, an incredible amount of time running through the night, it was Team Wolfpack number 38 who rolled into the village of Postville in top spot, the first of several stops on the north coast. A major move that the boys were quite surprised with. Two days ago. You missed Bertie Lake like checkpoint. Yeah, we were 80 kilometers down to Lassalu and realized it. And then we got back to the highway, waited for our support crew and gas for five hours. We've been chasing ever since. How did you make up so much time? You, you tell me, buddy. <laughs> I'll say it, we fluked out on this trail coming in. Our crew uh, told us to stay right at every turn. We took every right there was coming in, and uh, luckily for us, it worked out. Postville is considered an optional layover checkpoint in the group of stops from here to Nain. 16 hours total must be taken, but riders have the option as to where they stay as long as minimum eight hours are in Nain. For Team 38, after a rocking fast night of riding, they wanted to keep it rolling, so they opted for a quick snack and fueled up the sleds, taking a few moments to speak further about their journey up the Northwest River. Northwest River, the guy took us to the Groom Trail, and then we were 20, 30 kilometers down the trail. I stopped, I said, we can get disqualified for this, I think. So we booted it back into town and hopped on the bay ice and shooted it up. So once you're on the, gro the groom trail, you realize that it's not Yeah. So we did not take the groom trail, no. <laughs> Only one minute apart from each other, but almost two hours behind the leaders, Team 00, 29, and 99 filled in the second, third, and fourth spots arriving into Postville. A couple hours later, Teams 4, 7, and 73 arrived. 